Welcome back. It's a busy sports night tonight. We've got 10 different games and we start out in St. Peter. The Mankato East boys hockey team is taking on the new Ulm Eagles at Gustavus in the semifinals. It's winner go home and both teams came out firing tonight. New Ulm does lead 3 to 1 in the second period. That game did get started later and is still in progress. We'll make sure to update the final score on our website once we have it. Now moving on to the individual portion of state gymnastics. Mankato West Naya Howard finishes in sixth place overall on the vault. And Mankato West Grace Jacobson finishes in eighth place overall on the vault. On the uneven bars, Wasika's Bella Wilkin finishes in fourth place. And Mankato West Charlie Fernandez finishes in fifth place. And on the balance beam, West Fernandez finishes in third place. And West Howard in eighth place. On the floor exercise, West Fernandez in fourth place and Wasika's Lila Keith in sixth place. And West Fernandez finishes in fourth place all around with a score of 37.0625. Congratulations to all of our local area participants. We switch gears and head out to St. Peter where it's Mayak playoffs across the board. We start inside the Don Roberts ice rink with Gustavus Women's Hockey taking on the Bethel Royals. Bethel up 1-0 in the third. Netminder Anna Hansen for the Royals stands on her head in this one. Lily Mortensen finds herself all alone out front, denied by the toe of Hansen. Mortensen can't believe it. Still, Gusty's down by one. Later in the third, a Bethel turnover creates a golden opportunity. Avery Bonshanin robbed by Hansen with a Jimmy Howard escape to keep the one goal lead. Number two, Gusty's won't go away that easy. Kylie Scott wrist one past Hansen with under four minutes to go in regulation. An instant classic between these two ends in overtime with Gustavus who wins two to one and is moving on to the championship game. Now a hop, skip, and a jump over to Gus Young Court for a pair of conference title games. Gustavus Women's Basketball up first. Their opponent, Concordia. Gusty's first chance on offense. Izzy Quick gets the board, sends it out to Emma Knievel. She makes it rain from three to open the scoring in this one. Offense doesn't work without the defense. Big block by Kylie Barr and Nick. Possession to Gustavus. It's complete basketball in Gustavus. Quick goes Knievel. She goes for another three and hits it. Gusty's up 10 to three early on in the ship. They keep it rolling. Knievel long pass to Sid Hauger. She goes in for the layup. That will fall. Coppers call a timeout, unable to hang with Gustavus. They win 66 to 38 and are headed to the big dance. Nightcap game is a packed house for Gustavus against the Hamlin Pipers in the Mayak Men's Basketball Championship. Piper started off with a bang from Mick Worley. He hits the three in front of the student section with a little extra celly on that one. Later in the first half, Gustavus down by three. Jonah Anderson pushes up the floor. Brady Kynes drills the three. Foul on the shot. Four point play coming up. Home crowd absolutely loves it inside Gus Young Court. Gussie's play out front now. Spencer Swanson attacks the hoop, gets it to go. Lead being built up to 10 at the half. It's a Maya game for the history books. Gusty's win 72 to 71. Pipers had a chance for a buzzer beater, but didn't get it off in time. Gustavus Mins follows suit and puts themselves in the NCAA tourney. A Gusty sweep on the day. Championship Saturday over at Bethany. The Vikings take on UW Superior for the UMAC championship. It's a fast paced game early on. Xavier Patterson reads the defense and pulls up from behind the arc. Vikings lead 18 to 12. Jax Madsen curls up top. Defense not putting the pressure on, and the Vikings are making them pay. Madsen hits the three. Bethany up 21-16. Next time down the court for Bethany, and it's another Madsen three. And for the third Vikings possession in a row, it's Madsen scoring again, this time down low, and Bethany punches their ticket to the NCAA tournament with a 77-58 win. The MSU women's basketball team wrapped up their regular season at home this afternoon. The Mavericks take on Bemidji State, a team they beat earlier in the season. This is Joey Bat right here in the first quarter, nailing the three. Mavericks up 14 to seven. The three here from Bat is long, but Ava Sear crashes the offensive boards for the putback, extending the Mavericks lead. Hannah Herzig in transition with the pull up three. Mavs making a statement early on. Natalie Bramer off the screen with a quick release for the bucket. And of course, we're going to have to talk about this Mavericks defense and transition. Destiny Birch 
knocking the ball from behind right here into the hands of Bramer. Back to Birch for the layup. The Mavericks win it 92 to 62. The team plays next Saturday, March 2nd in Sioux Falls in the NSIC tournament. Not next Saturday, but March 2nd, excuse me. And the men's team is also wrapping up their season at home tonight against Bemidji State. In the second half, Malik Willingham running off the screen. The step back three is money. MSU leads 65 to 49. Justin Egan's at the top of the key behind the back step back three. That's clean. The Mavericks extending their lead. And out in transition, Elijah Hayes Camp with the nice finish here. And the Mavericks defeat Bemidji State 76 to 66 to wrap up conference play. The Mavericks play March 2nd in Sioux Falls as well in the NSIC tournament. Right next door to Bresden Arena, day two of the NSIC Indoor Championships are taking place inside Myers Fieldhouse. In the women's 60-meter hurdle finals, MSU's Denisha Cartwright finishes first with a time of 7.93. If you blinked, you missed it. An NCAA Division II record time, securing first place and her teammates giving her all of the love. The next race up is the men's 60-meter hurdles. You marries. Diego Andres Duggan finishes first here with a time of 7.78. And MSU's Abel Christensen finishes third with a time of 7.89. Overall, the men's team finishes first of 11, and the women's team finishes first of 14. Over to the ice, MSU men's hockey hosting Lake Superior State. It's a thriller this evening at home. In the end, MSU does win this 4-3. The game was tied until Brian Carabes puts one in the back of the net with less than a minute remaining to win the game. Sam Morton had two goals and the Mavericks head to Bemidji State next week with the CCHA regular season title on the line. That's all for sports. Now here's a look at the rest. It's the High V BOGO Sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free on Blue Bunny Frozen Desserts. Buy one, get one free on marinated pork loin fillets or tenderloins. Buy one, get one free on Doritos. Buy one, get one free on 7-Up Six Packs. Buy one, get one free on High V Potato Chips. And buy one, get one free on High V Cottage Cheese. Don't miss the High V BOGO Sale this Friday through Sunday. Only at High V. What's your magic number? Mine are 3, 6, and 12. Take me home and love me. For 3, 6, or 12 months, your choice. Choose your own adventure. Make me yours. Show me your world for 3, 6, or 12 months. So, what are you waiting for? Find your magic number and raise a future guide dog today. At KEYC News Now, we know you're busy, which is why we're here whenever you need us. Anytime, any stream with live breaking news. Well, Juke with several gunshots. First alert forecasts. Sprinkler 2, move on. And the stories you don't want to miss. Minnesota Governor Tim Walls. Search KEYC News Now wherever you stream and catch up on the latest news of the day. All for free and on your schedule. Hopefully making your day a little less hectic. Oh, and did I mention the first alert forecast? KEYC, whenever you want. The cornerstone of Investigate TV is investigative journalism. Should they be revoking these certifications? How big of a problem is that? What is the solution here? Every story we air, we strive to be able to show that. Should this be better regulated? Should I be concerned? The beauty of this show is that we have a team of reporters all across the country. The public has a right to know. It allows us to tell the best of the best stories and show them to you every day. Donors Choose. Support a classroom. Build a future. At DonorsChoose.org, we want students in every community to have the